Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. There, there, was a, there was a plastic here in your eye. I don't know how you didn't know. Thank you. Touching your brain. Um, you're like, I smell burning toast. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, you <laughs> slut. Nice, nice liner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Hi, I'm the homegrown ingrown, Trixie Mattel. And I'm the varicose vein in the shape of your mom's huge ass, Katya. And welcome to uh, the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. So, what do you want to talk Hair. about? Hair. Who's got it? Who wants it? Not me. You don't have it? I'm you a bald bitch. We are two people. So if we're talking about hair, there's so many layers. Okay, so we got hair on the head, hair in the body. Hair, so many layers. That's a joke about hair? Oh, layers, layers. right. <laughs> okay. Have you hair. started to get the old man thing where the hair is leaving your head and migrating to other unwanted places? Mama, it's been six, seven years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do you, have, do you have to do the nose trim? I get in there with scissors. What if you snip like your aorta? I don't. And bleed out. I have told them to yak the end of the story. <laughs> you, you don't describe the reveal before you do the reveal. You reveal to them. I don't want to stress anybody out. Also, women's hair cut, color, style is so expensive. Yeah, girl. I mean, you better believe if I was a woman, full Sinead. Otherwise, I'd be eating at P.F. Chang's every night of the week. Like, <laughs> I save so much money. <laughs> That's the lap of luxury. That's the lap. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a poor Midwesterner? We're going to P.F. Chang's. We're really oh. letting loose tonight, y'all. Oh. <laughs> Do you shave your butthole? I do. You shave your butthole? It's a hygienic concern. Sure. Yeah, dingleberries. Just the way you shave. Oh yeah, it's just, it's just all over the just place. Just gravel. Yeah. Sometimes it oozes, sometimes it spurts. Sticky, bloody gravel. Marching out. <laughs> Trailing. Pushing through really... a thicket of brown. And <laughs> my <laughs> is, it's so thin, it's so hard. <laughs> it's like spaghetti. That you can really in. Oh my god, it's a fishing rod. It's totally. <laughs> Yeah, I shaved my balls, which I was so delighted to find out that you could just hack away your balls with a razor. You just go Bleh. Do you have pubes? Uh, no. You shave that too? No, I don't have, I was born without pubes. Everybody's born without pubes! Ah! <laughs> Bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> that went in my mouth. The bug oh, went in my mouth. Bug. The bug went in my mouth. All right, I'm going home. Did you see it? <laughs> When Did you in see your it? Mouth? The bug landed on my lip. Oh, that's we disgusting. can't go on. Yeah, no, I don't feel right. Harold, cut. <laughs> the bug touched me on the lip. That's okay. It kissed you. Kissed by nature. I don't mean to make this about me, but <laughs> I've shaved like we all did that thing when you're like fourteen. You're like you're like what? You know, you're like sixteen. And you're like uh, I'm gonna shave my pubes. Yeah. And it's just a, you're it's using a, a show. you're using a, a dull, dry, big, Ladies in, your grandma's, yeah. in your grandma's <laughs> yeah. bathroom. Oh, what's the over, oh my God. Carry on. You know, and then for the days after, you're like, who did I do this for? Yeah. Who's seeing my pubes? By the way, have you ever f***ed in a, I'm just, I'm just gonna say this. <laughs> okay. Have you ever f***ed an adult man with no pubes? Yes, many times. I don't like to f*** babies. And that person is a baby. That person is a diaper away from being a baby. Give him a f***ing uh, binky and tell him to get the f*** out of my house. Have you ever heard the, the, the expression, if there's grass in the field, play ball? Yes. If there's not grass in the field, call a doctor. <laughs> get get a the wig. bench. Yeah. Get a wig. Sometimes, you know, like- American. Yeah, like, you know, when I when I will, from time to time, get, you know, be overcome with pubic lice, I'll have to shave. <laughs> I'll have to shave everything. You know, I'll get two um, synthetic tracks in 613. And I'll bonding glue those like curtains right above my. And you can wrap them around your <laughs> to yeah. keep your. So there's yeah. hair hanging, and then when I get hard, my <laughs> slides through the DMs like. You know. That is so disgusting. Um, I. 
love Satan? No, no. I've never. I shave my butthole sometimes. You do? Like when I went to Drag Race, mm -hmm. I shaved from the foot up, and then when I got to the the groin and the butt, I was like, well, now I look like I have hair shorts on. I don't have very oh, hairy. Oh yeah. I'm not very hairy, but I can't have hairless legs and then butt hair. Like what? My body's like, what if we had no chest hair, no armpit hair, like a grown man? With a fucking aggressive soul patch on the back. Do you really? Yes, it's raw. Oh, we gotta wax that shit, mama. You know, like in porn, when like they'll grab the girl's hair. Oh no. You can, you can, you can saddle up That's with your my back hair. That's your Girl. I used to pray to God I to take away my ass hair. Yeah, I was like, God, Jesus, please take my my ass hair. I don't need it. Nor do I want it. You think God had more to do than worry about the wicker basket <laughs> climbing all over your? Shit? The bramble on my dumper. Yeah. yeah, it was like the the um the vines in like Sleeping Beauty growing yeah. on the castle. Yeah. You were neither. Neither. No princess was traveling up that tower. Mama. Yeah. Ooh. I don't believe in God, but okay. if the hair is growing out of your body, it's beautiful. Oh, see, I, I'm going to disagree with you there. <laughs> have you ever had that? Have you ever? Okay. Have you ever seen that thing where like there's an ingrown hair and you grab it and pull it with tweezers and it's been growing under the oh, skin? Oh, I love that. You do? One time I pulled out four separate teeth. Ha oh. No. <laughs> Hairs out of one pore. What? I swear to God, it was like a cluster and so disgusting. Okay, so I'm coloring the hair. I used to dye my hair all the time. Did you do it yourself? Yes, I sure did. And what was your artistic process? Okay, well first I would select a nice and easy. How old were you, 14? Um, yeah, 14, 15. You're at home, yeah. 14, white as a ghost. Well, also I had a, a middle part Marilyn shag. Marilyn Manson? No, Marilyn Monroe. No, you didn't. I wanted to look like Kurt Cobain from Nirvana. I went to my mother's hairdresser and he gave me a blowout, made me look like Marilyn Monroe. And I was mortified, because I wasn't a f Is this the hair he gave you? <laughs> Pretty oh, much. Gorgeous. Actually, it's, it would just be like, um, more like a bob. Carol Channing. Oh, which is a great look for a young man. Yeah, 14. Carol Channing, yeah. an old woman hurt you. <laughs> 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 be mad, dude. <laughs> but I was just, I, I've i never had good hair. Never had good hair, never had a good hairline. I'm just like, get this thing, get it out of here. <laughs> I gotta be honest. Um, Wigs is something that, as a drag queen of nine years, it now is just cumbersome and hot. Oh, it's, it's my un, least favorite it's part. It's hot, it's uncomfortable. And it's expensive. It's expensive, and you know what? Wigs are always in the decline. They're gifted to you at Depreciating this, assets. It, it, depreciating assets, you drive it out of the lot, it loses its value. A wig is the original depreciating asset. Yeah, yeah, the Honda Civic of drag. Do, do you <laughs> with, were you ever one of those queens who wore your real <laughs> You wear like a half wig and wear okay. your real hair. Oh my God. Did so, you ever? So Fina used to do it, this like snatch the front of her hair into this gorgeous little pussy thing. One night, my Mr. Burns bald ass thought he could put the two little baby strands, snatch up into a fucking wig. The wig itself was at the crown of my head, by the way. Looking back, if I had a photo of it, you would howl. You would howl. You're like, oh. And they let you go on like that? No one said nothing? Oh, mama, no, no, nobody said nothing. Nobody said nothing. Nobody said nothing. They're like, oh, asshole. That's a lot of surface area you're featuring tonight. Good for you. I could have done a whole graffiti, like a, a scripture. Yeah, scripture. <laughs> it was the whole, all that real estate. All that real estate. I mean, this is a nice hair. That's beautiful. But I always liked, I always liked the hair to be a little bit used. Like I always found that if it was a new wig, three uses, and then it was like, oh, now I'm a woman. At first, hair is like too shiny. Yes. And it likes plasticky. Yep. You can um, actually tie it to your exhaust pipe and take it around the block, and then it... <laughs> That's how you see if your wig is pinned on correctly. Yeah. You get yeah. in your convertible. Yeah. I have a wig from three years ago at DragCon LA that was $800. Is that the seven wigs? It's that massive. Yeah. Cut to a picture now. Oh. How did you do that all day? Uh, you notice I'm not smiling at any of the pictures? Yeah, you're literally one of It gave me such a bad migraine that I went to the bathroom and threw up. Wow. I'd also been drinking. <laughs> I mean, just, I was let, also let me dead just drunk. toss that in there. I was also dead drunk. <laughs> I'm that person who's like, oh, I just didn't get good sleep last night. <laughs> you because I was at the bar. Yeah, drinking two liters of tequila. Anyway, if you have hair, uh, 
There's still hope for you. Yeah, now be um, conscientious and diligent with your wig choices. Remember that expensive doesn't mean better, um, and that blonde doesn't necessarily mean beautiful. Yeah, and um, being bald isn't just for us, and wearing wigs isn't just for us. You guys should experiment with your own hair. Yeah. Life is short, but short haircuts are shorter. Yeah, and, and uh, be careful if you try to nail your ass. Do you f*** with rat tails? Mama, I am a rat tail. <laughs> <laughs> I don't f*** with rat tails. I do think I'm men. They look kind of cute sometimes. Yeah, I like a monk ponytail on a man. You notice it's always like the trendy Caucasian guys who have that haircut. Never and not the Buddhist monks. monks. Yeah, I know. Christmas means a lot to me. Does it? Why? Presents. Oh, yeah. People say live in the present. I say honey. Honey, you want me to live in the present? Honey, give me a present, okay? A tennis bracelet? <laughs> we also live in the world, professional world. Do you buy like your management or anything? Do you buy, do you buy professional gifts? No, but I expect a Christmas bonus. <laughs> you do? Yeah. From who? My boss. Oh. But I don't have one. You are. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> I'm not gonna give I my- I was following you until I was like, does she not know she's her own boss? The first 22 years of my life was wishing I had money to buy people presents. And now, the gift giving I do now to my family is absurd. But how come you never give me a Christmas present? You don't want anything. That's not true. What do you want? Money. That's not <laughs> Tell you what, I can Vanity plates? Job. Vanity plates? Vanity plates? It might encourage me to get a car. Please <laughs> 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 y'all welcome to the stage. Vanity, Vanity plates. plates. <laughs>